Hi guys, I just showed you this little radio controlled car in one of my charity shop videos. It says a Volkswagen 2014, 2.4 gigahertz, which is the reason I bought it, 2.4 gigahertz, because I've got this 2.4 gigahertz transmitter and I just wondered whether they might um, recognize each other. Well, I've just had a look in the battery box there. These are so badly corroded. That's actually the spring from inside there is completely corroded off. It's come out with the end of the battery. And that one's no better. So I'm going to have to have a look to see if I can actually get some power in there before we can even see if it works. I'm probably going to have to take it apart just to try and get some power onto it. Let's have a look inside so we can see if we can actually connect a battery up. Just a quick recap, I honestly don't expect that 24 megahertz transmitter to speak to the 24 megahertz receiver, but there's only one way to find out. Okay, what have we got? Well, that's the battery box. Looks like it was originally designed just to have three AA batteries in it and they had to add this extra one on the bottom. So four AA batteries, positive, negative. So let's see if we've got some leads. Uh, haven't got any red and black ones at the moment. So for black we'll go white and for red we'll go green. Okay. And we just want four batteries. Two, three, four. Pull that one out. So according to me, yeah. And there goes up to there, but that's uh, hang on, get this right way around. Negative, negative, positive comes out of there, and goes up to there, positive. We have sound effects. Which is a good start. What was that switch? So off. Oh, it's popped out anyway. So 
sound effects. That actually says A and B underneath. So I guess that's channel A and channel B. Maybe. So, I don't know what the battery's like in there. But it doesn't look like we've got a match. I'm not the least bit surprised. But I will just check that battery's okay. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, positive, positive. Yeah, that battery's good enough. direction. No such luck. So it looks like this one will be destined for the parts bin. Just out of interest, we'll have a little close up of the um, chip if we can see it. Nah, I can't see anything there. That's an interesting modification there, isn't it? <laughs> Just a little bit more before we put it in the junk box. That chip there, uh, let's just see, yeah. XS91, nine one eight two. I think that's the H bridge. Because the blue and green wires are the ones that go down to the motor. And they come off the tags on that back of that chip and then down here those yellow wires which go to the speaker appear just here and go into there so that's probably the sound chip sound effects And then that one, I think, is the one that's the actual receiver chip decoder. And that's the aerial. So that's it. That'll be destined for the junk box for now.